And welcome ESPN's college football primetime available on HD as the Trojans get set to battle Oregon State. A team known as the Giant Killers. And this group of Beavers trying to summon those ghosts here tonight as a big underdog in their home field. Well, you know what it does. It's really, this is a game where you don't have it where their team and the locker room is thinking about the helmet across the sidelines. Oregon State's used to playing against USC. They just got great players at the Trojan land. Yeah, it was a beatdown last year at the Coliseum. Oregon State offensively could do nothing. It's a kick that Gable will take at the three. Good coverage, and he's rocked at the 15. His sixth start. So efficient against Ohio State. You see Mark Sanchez, he's completed 68% of his passes. He's the most efficient passer in the Pac-10 right now. He's played beautifully in their first two games. Joe McKnight, the speedy sophomore, is the lone setback in the Trojans' first play. And Sanchez right back, flips it to McKnight in the flat. He makes the first man miss, but a short game. He dazzled. At Ohio State defense. Picked up just one yard on the first play, and now Alan Bradford, the veteran, the most physical back for us, who is in the game. Pass caught by Patrick Turner. Trojans need about a yard and a half. They'll try the right side, and Johnson fighting, but he won't get there. Sammy Strider back to receive the punt from Greg Woodnick. Strider will call a fair catch and take it at his 40-yard line. He won his last four games last year. We had a chance to talk to Lyle Moivau yesterday about the implications of playing the number one ranked team coming in here to Corvallis. He's just about 5'11". Pretty athletic. Very quick release, as you'll see quickly. Chuck Williams Rogers, the true freshman, who has about 5'6", is in the backfield. They fake it to him. Moivau holds the ball and flips it over the middle. Complete to the tight end, Brady Camp. And he's across midfield for a first down. Shot Quiz Rogers, they call him Quiz, is in the backfield. And his brother, James, comes in motion. This is Quiz, and he shows that quick burst. A nine-yard gain. Second and short. Let's see if Moivau will take a shot downfield. Trojans, and late pressure. Good protection, Moivau will throw deep. Over the head as Taylor Mays was helping out. Give it to the fullback. And a quick burst for the first down. Now as Rogers lined up. Here's Rogers to the left of Moy Down. Brother comes in motion. And they flip it over the middle. This is James Rogers. And the older of the Rogers brothers shakes free and gets down inside the 20. They got a little pair of playmakers from Texas on this Oregon State team. USC right now is a little bit on their heels. James Rogers at the bottom of the formation. He comes in motion now. They'll give it to Quiz. That time good initial penetration, but Jack Quiz Rogers spins away for a nice game. It's Quiz. Right in, in amongst the big boys, they'll have a first down. Why not use the big guy, right? Haven't been super efficient in the red zone in their first three games. James Rogers in motion. And they throw it to him. Rogers needs a buck on the corner, gets it. Yanked out at the pylon. There's a flag. Taylor Mays brought him down. The microphone not working. And now they're ruling a touchdown. A very, very late wow. signal. Rogers evidently was able to get to the pylon and a a surprise from the crew. The ball crossed here. The ball hit the pylon. Still in bounds. Mays dragging him down. Mm, I don't know. I don't Did know. that break the plane? I think this is going to get reviewed. Clearly the legs of Rodgers touched the pylon, but I'm not sure the football broke the plane. After review, the ruling on the field stands. Play results in a touchdown. So this is the backup. Seen him. They do sacrifice some range on the field goal tries, but he knocks the point through. Calm evening, not much wind. That's a very short boot. 
And C.J. Gable take a knee anyway. Right, let's see if that defense can build on the three and out. USC had on his first possession. It's McKnight on the toss. Weavers string it out. McKnight, no game. And they find themselves facing some adversity. Empty backfield. Sanchez could throw. It's caught. Trying to muscle his way for a short game is Ronald Johnson. A surprising first quarter. And USC has just now gotten the first down. The Beavers drove 60 yards with their first possession. James Rogers collecting a short touchdown pass. And now Sanchez will throw on first down. Steps away from the rush, but now is dropped. Pretty good escapability. Yeah. Didn't look at there. McKnight in the slot. Now he takes the direct snap. And they're ready for that wrinkle as McKnight will be dropped for a loss. Third and 15. There's a flag. It'll be a free play for Sanchez, and he'll take a shot downfield. Overthrows Damian Williams to the penalty. Third and 10. Sanchez pump fakes. Pressure. Wanted to throw it. And he'll be short of the first down. It was pump faking, but beyond the line of scrimmage. And that he's used to playing against USC. Strutter won't get a chance as Wednick's punt sails out of bounds. That's Quiz Rogers behind Moybau. James comes in motion. And Quiz takes it. Side steps a man. Another big gain on first down. Ten more. Ten yards for Rogers. It is a first down. And at the Oregon State 48. He's got it again. They are just moving the pile. Ten more yards. What's going on here? Uh, this USC defense right now does not know what to expect from the Oregon State offense. And those tackles, Spicer and Walla, they're not used to being manhandled the way they've been so far tonight. Quiz again. It's on a short game, but he did pick up a first down at the 40. They're getting whipped up front. The motion the tight end on the first down. Moivau slips it to Rodgers in the flat. Gets a block and good pursuit by Cushing. Second and five. The two tight end look. And on play action, Moivau rolls out, fires far side, and a little bit of miscommunication. Third down. Quiz. Side six to the hole. Bounces down near the 30. Very close to another first down. Quiz has it. Jack Quiz Rogers reading his way for 15 more. Quiz the weak link of this offense. He's playing great football right now. Quiz is four yards short of a 100-yard game. That was a mistake. I'm like the guard, Greg Pete. Offense, 73. Five yard penalty. Still first down. James Rogers and Stoddard. Top of the formation. What about pump fake? Broken up. Kevin Ellison read the play. And second and 15. It's James Rogers on the reverse. Trying to get the corner. Stepped out of bounds. They need 11 on third down. Way back. A shot across the middle, complete first down. And their starter showing the receiving skills. He, the little big man, is the lone setback. And got three tight ends and quiz. Fighting to the end zone. here in Corvallis. Cena makes it 14 nothing. Beavers after the fumble take over. They've had three possessions tonight two touchdown drives and on the other possession they drove 49 yards but came up empty. This is Quiz Rogers. Cushing not able to bring him down. Six more for the 
five foot six true freshman. 105 yards on 15 carries Man. in less than a half against USC. His big brother James comes in motion, but this is Quiz again. Here's Rogers spinning first down. James Rogers in the slot. Trojans show pressure off the edge. Quiz again. That time flying in to make the play off the corner was Will Harris, the safety. Okay, second and six. What about? Flips it. It's a lateral. This is Quiz trying to get the corner. Not much room there. Third and eight. A four or five on third down. Wyval over the middle. Strider holds on. Play clock at three. Rogers stopped for a loss. Big Feely Moana got him. They only run 20 plays tonight. USC. They can't get the Beavers off the field. Morales motions in at the bottom of the formation. Wyval flips it short. It's a screen. Where's Rogers? The freshman still alive. Where's Rogers? Hold down inside the 10. Matthews saved the touchdown, but it'll be first and goal. That was a true freshman talking to Brian Cushing, the senior. <laughs> All the conference. <laughs> former Rose Bowl defensive MVP. <laughs> yes, sir. Please. Thank you. <laughs> he wasn't saying that. He's got it again. Loses the hat. And now they'll blow the whistle. This is Quiz Rogers. Hit hard on the corner there. Peary Harris delivered the blow. A little bit of a gamble, perhaps. A little bit of greed here, trying to build on the two touchdown lead. Moivau straight back, fires into the end zone. High throw, incomplete. This is the back of the end zone. Personal foul on the defense, number 99. Penalties report. After this, it took a goal. Automatic first down. Went out. Looks left. Takes time. Fires in the end zone. Almost intercepted, but caught for a touchdown. James Rogers on the carrot. There's a flag down. A flag down. It'll stand. Touchdown. Oregon State. Personal foul. USC. And now again, their other starting corner, Sharice Wright, out. You've got Taylor Mays, the All-American, out. So a couple of your starting premier players, playmakers, not there. And Thomas doesn't come up with a play for the Trojans. Give James Rogers a lot of credit, really. You know, with the ball getting after, after him. After review, the ruling on the field is confirmed. Play results in the touchdown. We will now check to see if the penalty will be forced on the extra point or the kickoff. James to the left, he's the sophomore. Nobody really wanted him out of high school. Everybody wanted Quiz Oregon State executing, catching USC on their heels because, again, of the penalty. It's a kickoff from the 45 yard line. It's a high one, and Johnson has it. Falls forward to the 13. And that will be the end of a shocking, shocking first half. USC, 75 total yards, 220. For Oregon State, the Beavers lead 21 zip. Now, defense needs to stop. Sanchez needs a rally, but can they slow down this speedy Oregon State team? This is James Rogers at the goal line. There's the Rogers Brothers show in the first half, and he shows the quickness, gets out across the 30. And he's got it. And they string him out. He's still able to spin away from the tackle of Ellison, but it's. It's a good message. Easier said than done. They lose four yards in their first play of the third quarter. Mueva to James Rogers. And fights for a couple yards. It's James Rogers in motion, top of the formation. USC rushes four. Mueva forced out, and he'll just throw it away. Macker gets it away. Good boot. Drives McKnight back inside the 30. Joe McKnight tries to create room. So dangerous. 
did lose the football in the first half. This is Stephon Johnson. Throws his muscle and pushes the pile near midfield a first down. There were some growing pains in the first three games for sure. Especially against Stanford and Penn State. Fenchez still has it on first down. Has time. Wanted to take a shot downfield. Now dumps it off short. A completion to Turner near the first down mark. That was the second catch for Turner. The SC wide receivers have a total of four catches tonight. That's it. Hazleton was in motion. Sanchez picks it up, takes a shot downfield. Johnson will be interfered with. That was Keenan Lewis. There are two fouls on the play. Holding on the offense. Pass interference on the defense. Number six. Penalties offset. First down. Sanchez wanted to throw it far side. Now looking for a block. And he comes up with about four. And after the play, personal foul, late hit on the offense, 68. 15-yard penalty from the spot of the foul from the end of the run. Down counts, down will be two. Costly penalty. Moves the ball back into SC territory. McKnight in the ball game, and he's got the, oh, doesn't have the swing pass. Took his eye up off the football as he took a look at the defense. McKnight out, C.J. Gable in the ball game. Turner in motion. Evers. Only rush four. Turner has it, and he's hit at the 40. It'll be fourth and nine. They roll the pocket. Sanchez fires all on the sidelines. Caught. Damian Williams spinning out of bounds. First down. Sanchez takes a shot down the sidelines. Caught. Touchdown. Ronald Johnson. So very quickly, the tone changes. The fourth and nine conversion. Next play, touchdown. Johnson, they beat Keenan Lewis, the fine corner. To the importance of that fourth and nine that SC got. James Rogers joined by Patrick Henderson. Nice kick returners. And they'll start at the 20. He's back out there, 113 yards already tonight. Against the defense, it was given up 51 and a half per game. And here's the freshman. But all of a sudden, not quite as much running room. Gives a good job to fight forward for three. Sammy Strato is back in the ball game, and he's at the bottom of the formation. So he just missed that one series. This is Rogers on second down. And amongst the big boys fighting near the 30, Griffin on the stop, it'll be third and short. Need about a half yard. Moivau on the sneak. And they get enough push to create a first down. Move the chain. Rodgers again. He was hit in the backfield. Little guy gets away. So tough to tackle this guy. SC cannot locate the little guy. And when they find him, they can't bring him down. From the shotgun, laterals to Quiz. He's fighting, but he won't get there. SC's defense stands up in his last punt. It's a shorter boot. McKnight has had a tough night with the fumble. Most of their fans didn't think this was a big enough game to make the journey. It's turned into one. C.J. Gable cuts it back. First down run up near the 45-yard line. Gable out. Stephon Johnson in the game. And he's got it. And that time, good penetration off the edge. Keaton Crystal got it. <laughs> Second and 11. Sanchez back. Step forward. Fires far side. Caught by McKnight. And he's down near the 40-yard line. It's McKnight to the right of Sanchez. Sanchez steps up. Doesn't really want to run on that knee that's been a little gimpy. He's shoved out of bounds at the 39. He picked up three, second and seven. Sanchez fires left side. That's the freshman tight end, Blake Ailes.
This is McKnight. Nothing. And he dropped for a loss. It's been a tough night for Joe McKnight, hasn't it? C.J. Gable in the ball game in front of Havili. They fake it to him. Sanchez takes a shot. A wide open Damian Williams diving toward the end zone. Touchdown. Put that football on the pylon. There's the touchdown. He came very close to stepping out right there. They'll take another look at it, but that was just. Ooh, ooh, yeah, did, did he did he get a foot down before the ball at the pylon? It's that same angle in that corner of the end zone that Rogers scored in the first quarter. We couldn't really see, get a good view. Touchdown. That's kind of a bang bang play like in baseball, huh? It took After three review, minutes, one second. The field is confirmed. Play results in a touchdown. Wow. Inside of six minutes to play, you can see that top ten when they visit Corvallis, four of the last five have left losers. Camp, the tight end, motions to the left. This is Rogers running through tackles again and spinning forward for about seven yards. It's ball at the 30 now. Second and three. Inside of five minutes to play. Liz Rogers, first down across the 40. Move the chains. Rogers, that time they don't let him go. The <laughs> gang tackling, Cushing trying to rip the ball out. Seven takeaways, seven sacks coming in. They had just one sack, no takeaways tonight. Rodgers runs through the tackle. You could see Cushing was trying to grab the football away from him, but didn't get the ball. And with more than four minutes to play, so a crucial third down. He's got just one timeout left. Beavers need six yards. James Rodgers in motion. This is Quiz Rodgers. They keep it on the ground, and he doesn't get the first down in this quarter. High snap. Hecker collects it. It's again off the side of his foot. McKnight just can't get up there to get it, and it's going to roll dead down near the three. You want to see the number one team in the country tested, pushed to the limit. And all state standings there. USC was a near unanimous number one in both polls coming into this game. Sanchez, last time, fires over the middle, over the head of Williams. Pretty good coverage. Quick drop. Pass was behind Ronald Johnson. Good catch. Got that going now. Let's get this thing moving. CJ Gable in the ball game. High throw. Intercepted. Greg Laborn. Weaves his way toward the end zone. Brought down at the two. First and goal. They give it to Quiz. And the freshman scores. The veteran makes the pick. The rookie cashes it in. Limping off, what a night for that guy. And the extra point, no good. Banked off the upright to the lead is 13, 2.39 to play. Johnson hesitates, tries to get a wall. And Ronald Johnson has a crease on the far side into Oregon State territory to the 45-yard line. I want to see his last attempt. McKnight is in the game. Sanchez fires short. Caught. 
Williams works his way for a first down inside the 30. Play that read, recognition, defensive coverage. Just watch Mark Sanchez's eyes. Sanchez flushed out, fires far side, diving catch, and then hammered out of bounds on the far side. Sanchez back. Hit as he throws far side. That time he will get out of bounds. A big hit delivered on McCoy. Sanchez to the end zone. Jump ball. Touchdown. Patrick Turner went up and got it. The six foot five senior beating Tim Clark, the backup corner, the minute 20 to go 50 or to go the distance 40 yards after the 50 yard kickoff return. And now we'll see the onside kick. <laughs> and, and how important are special teams? Not a very good onside kick. Beavers recover. Taylor Cavanaugh, the junior wide receiver, take back 10. They tried to send a message in the Pac-10 over. He was hoping that was going to be enough of a rallying cry to produce his team's best effort. That didn't happen, and all credit to Oregon State. This is a team that looked awful. Great job by the play calling and by Mark Banker and the defensive coordinator for Oregon State. Now see, no more timeouts. Moivau takes a knee again. Let me tell you who's jumping up in their kitchens right now. Oklahoma, Georgia, Florida, LSU, Missouri, Texas, Wisconsin. This will energize the championship chase, and there will be a humongous party in Corvallis tonight. The Beavers spring a trap and shock the college football world. Disappointment for Mark Sanchez. The Lion Wipeout and Oregon State, and their season is back on track. A moment that they will never forget. A repeat of this shocker here two years ago. It's been the theme of college football. Every game can change the season. So the championship chase gets a jolt here in the Pacific Northwest as USC knocked out by Oregon State. The Beavers build a big lead and survive 27-21. This has been a presentation of ESPN, the worldwide leader in sports. For Craig James, Jesse Palmer, Aaron Andrews, and our entire team here in Corvallis, I'm Chris Fowler. Good night from the land of the beavers.